we have a really big day. All right, first of all, so my name is Chris Bowser. I'm a Together Green Fellow. And my project is working on eel conservation and community outreach based around teams of volunteers getting together to monitor the migration of eels that are born in the Atlantic Ocean and come up into the Hudson River every spring. This Together Green project has actually uh, helped me to expand this to eight or nine different sites all along the Hudson River. Today, we're in Poughkeepsie, New York. Like many cities along the Hudson River, it's, a, it's, a, it's an urban area, uh, and uh, the population that we serve is very diverse, a lot of a uh, wide range of socioeconomic backgrounds. Um, but one thing in common, a lot of enthusiasm. So we have teams come out here every day, and they check uh, nets that we have in the stream and count the juvenile eels. They're only about two inches long, and uh, it's amazing that they've swum up from the Sargasso Sea between Bermuda and Puerto Rico in the last year, but that's what they've done. And uh, students from Poughkeepsie High School, local college interns all come down here and help out. It's important to get kids out of the classroom because for a lot of students, this becomes a really, really relevant part of their lives. It's real science. The data that we collect is actually part of New York State's efforts at conserving and monitoring American eels. It's away from the, the, the social structure of the classroom. Um, and it, it basically gives them hands-on things to do. They really feel they can sink their teeth into it and become a part of this project. And you know, for all of those audiences though, really one of the most important things is that it's in their neighborhood. I mean, we're here at the Fallkill Creek. The city of Poughkeepsie is all around us right now. And uh, it's just, I think it's wonderful that, that you know, we have, we have probably over 100 volunteers here. And probably before this project, they may have never known that American eels were in here by the hundreds. And now they are the scientists studying that species. What got me involved with the eel project? Um, I've always been worried about the environment, how humans are impacting it, um, pretty much how strongly we impact it over such a short period of time when the earth has been around for so very long. I feel as though like if you take care of this one creek, because you have to start out small, you take care of this one creek, then it, it, it branches off to other creeks and then maybe the rivers and the estuaries leading to like a better, healthier world. Chris has an amazing knack with people, he's got a way with words, and he has a vision, and he's a fantastic scientist and biologist, so he really, he's got it all in one person. There's no question that Chris is an environmental leader, and we, we expect great things from Chris already and in the future. I think that, um, you know, Really one of the real strong hopes is that the students that are involved in this project today, in 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, they're going to be in decision making positions. Even just as family members and the, the, the individual decisions they make in their families affects the environment. But some of them are going to be mayors, scientists, planning board reps. And giving them the tools to kind of think about the local environment is absolutely crucial because if they care about it now, if they understand it now, those are skills and knowledge that they're going to carry with them into their future leadership roles. And they're going to just be the, again, the, the sort of the ambassadors for the environment to the rest of the community. But I have to say sincerely that the Together Green project has been awesome. And the, uh, the support has been so crucial for me back here in the field expanding the project, getting the gear, the equipment, the extra help that I need. Let's hear it for Together Green! Woo!